السلام علیکم آئی ایم مختار احمد ود دا ورچل یونیورسٹیز کورس آف ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ اینڈ وی آر ہیئر ٹوڈے ود اور لاسٹ لیکچر دیٹ از لیکچر نمبر فورٹی فائیو وی اسٹارٹیڈ دس سبجیکٹ ویری امپارٹنٹ سبجیکٹ آف ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ ایز ای سیڈ دس از ویری امپارٹنٹ سبجیکٹ بائی ناؤ وی ہیو آلریڈی کمپلیٹیڈ فورٹی فور لیکچرز جس میں فورٹی لیکچر تو مختلف کانسیپٹ ڈسکس کرتے ہوئے دیکھا ہم نے فورٹی ون ٹو فورٹی تھری وار دا بیسک ریویو آف بیسک ہیومن ریسورس فنکشنس اور فورٹی فورتھ لیکچر جو تھا دا لاسٹ لیکچر دیٹ واز اباؤٹ انٹرنیشنل بزنس میں جو ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ کے کانسیپٹ ہے اس کو ڈسکس کیا سو وٹ اباؤٹ ٹوڈے ٹوڈے از اور لاسٹ سیشن آل ٹاک ود یو ان دس لیکچر ود دس بلیو کہ آل دوز کانسیپٹ دیٹ مٹیریل وی ہیو کورڈ سو فار You are clear about that. The concepts are clear. So now let's see the broader picture. What is happening in this field? Why it is that much important? So stay with me and I hope we'll learn something more from today's session too. So I'll directly start with today's topic. And again, the topic is the same. the human resource management as we started in our first lecture so what is human resource management it is in managing the people it's a managerial function that tries to match an organization need to the skills and abilities of the employees that is one aspect theek hai na but it has to do with the managing the people working in the organization when we are talking about managing human resources So we are giving more focus toward organizational abilities. Ability of what? How they should attract? To whom? The people? Not simply the people, the right type of people. And who are the right type of people? People who have the de desired skill, who have the desired ability, who can deliver the knowledge workforce, the learning workforce, the important concept developing in this era. Okay, what was the next? Develop them according to your environment, according to your situation. That is fine. Now people are used to your system. They are acclimatized. They have started performing. So next ability will be, the next challenge will be how to keep them motivated so that they should deliver the same pace rather more than that what they are doing today. And what should be the last ability? the last challenge for organization to keep or retain those talented people because we have seen we have discussed so many times that in this era especially when they have so much and so many opportunities available so this last one is a big way very important so we started our lecture number one our first lecture with these thoughts with these philosophies and why why we think this human resource management is important because every manager manages human being or human resources fair enough and human resources are the primary source of lasting competitive advantage you remember when we started our lecture number one i said that it was known that for survival for richness for importance such and such resources are essential کبھی کسی نے بتایا کہ جس کے پاس پیسہ زیادہ ہے وہ اچھی کنٹری ہے اچھی آرگنائزیشن ہے یا فلاں کنٹری میں دے ہیو نیچرل ریسورسز دیٹ از وائی دے آر رچ دے آر ڈیولپ اور دے آر امپارٹنٹ لائک لوک ایٹ دا مڈل ایسٹ وی آلویز تھنک دیٹ دے آر رچ دے آر امپارٹنٹ بیکاز دے ہیو دا آئل Similarly, other things. But now, we have reached a point where 
everybody understand and accept that they are not the kind of resources which can have the lasting effect. Because if oil is finished, what will happen? If money is gone, what is going to happen? If technology is obsolete, then what? So who, who, what else? Which kind of resources we should be focusing or we should be banging on them which can have lasting effect? And they are the only one and one and that is the human resource. See, people do make a difference. And we are talking about people who deliver, not the number. Wo log jinke andar potentials hain, jo talented hain, jo deliver kar sakte hain. And that is why we are taking this subject very seriously and we always preach or kind of convey to people that focus on these resources. They are very important. They are the main reason for your competitive advantage. Because as I said, other type of resources can be duplicated easily or they can be arranged. Remember I said, we were thinking that technology, money, these are very important to create a competitive advantage. Yes, they have the values. But see, if you have a good project, you can also arrange the money. If you have the money, arranging technology is not a big deal. So what else is making the difference then? These are the human resources and we are, that is the reason we are focusing on it. So why is HRM important? Because human resources, the primary source of lasting competitive advantage. What about traditional sources? of competitive advantages, financial or economic capabilities, jaise ne aap se kaha, product capabilities, you might have a very specific product, but then what is happen, going to happen? Quickly your competitor will copy it, then what? Technological or process capabilities, again you might get advantage for some time, for some period, but again easily or quickly people can duplicate those things. Similarly, organizational capabilities. They have a very strong system. So they are the traditional sources for your competitive advantage. What are the strategies for gaining competitive advantages? How we can gain competitive advantages? If you are cost leadership, compete by lower cost and how can you compete for lower cost? So many different reasons. You can have the cheap raw material, you can have the labor cost less, you can have the good technology. But again remember, the main reason where you can reduce the cost if you have the efficient workforce. Similarly, cost reduction effectiveness ke liye, jaise mein aap se kaha, ke effective or efficient workforce is also playing a very important role. Similarly, if you can differentiate for the product, you have a unique features for your product that can give you the competitive advantage. Similarly, if you have the best customer service, here again, the human resource is playing the vital role. Kisi door mein, Singapore airline was the number one. Why it was like that? Because the people working in that airline, they were giving the best customer service. That is why people were more tilted toward that, that airline. It was not that they have a spacious aircraft or anything else. Similarly, speed to market, how efficient or how effective you are that can also give you advantage in the competitive market. But when we are talking about organization, see the whole organization, they have a mission and based on that mission, they can have their objectives or goals. To achieve those goals, they can develop the strategies and to fulfill those or to accomplish those strategical moves, they develop structure. But again, see the bottom line is the people who actually perform all those things to achieve those goals or accomplish the mission. So I believe it is clear that even the strategically when we are talking, the human resource is playing very important role. The strategic importance of managing human resources, let us discuss few things here. And do not worry, this is a generalized type of lecture, it is not part of your 
कोर्स दैट यू शुड भी बड़ी के सारा कैसे याद करेंगे बिकॉज आई विल भी ब्रिंगिंग डिफरेंट आइडियाज हेयर एंड मेन रीजन इज टू गिव यू एंड शो यू मोर इम्पॉर्टेंस अबाउट दिस सब्जेक्ट सो दैट यू शुड टेक इट सीरियसली बिकॉज इट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू इन रियल रियल लाइफ कंपेटिटिव एडवांटेज के लिए हाउ कैन यू अचीव कंपेटिटिव एडवांटेज वैन पीपल कम टू यू rather going to your competitor for your product for your service and how what are the ways firms or organization can use hrm to gain sustainable competitive advantage we are talking about sustainable maximize the value added by employee acquire rare employees the word is the rare employees unique if they have the extra abilities if they are the talented develop a system in your organization विद दो टैलेंटेड पीपल जो दूसरे आसानी से कापी ना कर सकें तो देन यू कैन हैव दी सस्टेनेबल कंपेटिव एडवांटेज इन द मार्केट ह्यूमन रिसोर्स रोल्स इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वॉट काइंड ऑफ रोल्स दे आर प्लेइंग लेट्स क्विकली गो थ्रू दैम एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट और ह्यूमन रिसोर्स दे कैन प्ले द स्ट्रेटेजिक मैनेजमेंट रोल enabler or consultant role monitoring and maintaining role we'll discuss them in individually change and knowledge facilitator role and innovator role let's go one by one and try to understand the role of human resource in the organization strategic management role what they do basically they link their organization's hr prac policies or their firm's hr policies and practices to the broader longer term need of the firm and its stakeholders how you develop the strategies you do the swot analysis you see the forces which are affecting you the internal and external and based on that you can develop your strategies and here hr hr is playing the vital role they link those policies those broader long term needs of the firm with and its stakeholders to form proper or to manage strategically their organizations kaise karte hain setting the direction crafting corporate and business level plans developing and implementing functional plans measuring evaluating revising and refocusing all those plans and who is doing that the people so then that is the reason one organization strategy is different from another organization strategy otherwise they should have the same then how can one organization will be successful the other can be other way around not successful similarly the strategic role is making sure that you can create fit between hr and business strategies otherwise they can have two different directions the main strategic role kya hua iska to create the fit between hr strategies and business strategy of the organization within a framework of माइक्रो एंड मैक्रो एनवायरमेंट और इसको एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेज भी कहते हैं और इंटरनल फोर्सेज भी कहते हैं वॉट अबाउट दी सेकेंड रोल दैट इज एनेबलर आर कंसल्टेंट रोल एनेबलिंग लाइन मैनेजर्स टू मेक थिंग्स हैपन हु इज डूइंग दैट ह्यूमन रिसोर्स दैट इंक्लूड ट्रेनिंग योर एच आर डिपार्टमेंट इज प्रोवाइडिंग यू ट्रेनिंग असिस्टिंग विद प्रॉब्लम डायग्नोसिस वन दे आर डूइंग द परफॉर्मेंस फ्रेजल डिवेलपिंग सोल्यूशन with managers and being accept, accessible and attuned to employees need and concern they are dealing with the real people they are dealing with living things so they have to be attuned to their needs and concerns of the employee and here they are playing the role of enabler what about monitoring and maintaining role that compliance monitoring compliance with legal regulation and effectiveness of hr activities how they do that monitoring their morale of their employees and providing support during change or uncertain times we have used this word change very often things are changing with speed so usko manage karna is also very important because we believe and we know that there is always change, resistance to change and this is natural thoda sa change ke bare mein aapke sath share karta chalu whenever organization want to create change people resist it 
or any change, even if you're home. If your parents decided, okay, they want to change the setting of your drawing room or dining room, see a lot of concern will arise from the kids. Why? Or reason kya hota hai? Just for the sake, ke ji kyun, aisa kyun kar rahe Curiosity hai na? Fear bhi hota hai? Ne technology aa rahi hai? People might think ke, iske aane se to shayad wo absolute ho jayen, unki zaroorati na rahe. Yeah? There might be, might be so many reasons. Uske liye, what we have to do? There is a change process. And what is that change process? They call it, defreeze it, make the adjustment, and refreeze it. The three stage change process. Isme kya hota hai? Ab dekhe, aapne koi cheez banate hai, let's see, aapke ghar mein freezer hai, aap ice cream ke mukhtalif cubes banate hai, ya mukhtalif aaj kal, wo aati hai, uske mukhtalif shapes aati hai, uske andar aap ice cream bana ke, ya paani daalte hai, jo bhi hai, ice banate hai, usko freezer mein rakh dete hai, and thodi dher ke baad, wo jab jam jati hai, to apne ek khas shakal mein a jati hai. आपको शक्ल पसंद नहीं आई तो क्या करेंगे उसको डीफ्रीज करेंगे उसको मेल्ट होने देंगे दोबारा नई शक्ल जो साचा होगा उसके अंदर डाल के दोबारा रख देंगे देन रीफ्रीज इट यू कैन हैव द न्यू शेप दिस इज द बेसिक फिलासफी ऑफ रियल लाइफ इसी को चेंज मैनेजमेंट के लिए भी यूज करते हैं कि वट सिस्टम यू हैव वट टेक्नोलॉजी यू हैव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू रीफ्रीज इट वो कैसे करते हैं यू हैव टू टीच दैम You have to convince them. You have to even sometimes manipulate it to make sure that people know why they want to, why you have to change. Or if you see base pe, aap usme adjustment karte hain and then you fix it. You make the rules. Ki, okay, this is the new way we should be working. So, uske liye organization mein if some kind of change is happening, the HR department will play their role there. Wo kya karenge? They provide support during change. And uncertain times. इसी तरह innovative का roles, improving productivity and quality of work life. How? Adapting to an environment of uncertainty, energy conservation, and international competition. जब भी कोई hardship आती है, उसी में से फिर आप देखते हैं कि उसमें से creativity निकलती है. And justifying the benefit and cost of any kind of program they are conducting there. Change and knowledge facilitator role. चेंज को पहले भी डिस्कस किया हमने फैसिलिटेटिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन चेंज एंड मेंटेनिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी फोकसिंग ऑन फ्यूचर गाइडिंग द फ्लो ऑफ नॉलेज इंफॉर्मेशन एंड लर्निंग थ्रू दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे हैव यू हैव स्पेसिफिक ट्रेनिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट डिपार्टमेंट विद इन दी एच डिपार्टमेंट ये सारा कुछ क्यों बता रहा हूं आपको सो दैट यू शुड बी एबल टू सी द बिग पिक्चर Let's see the triad, HIR, triad, all managers responsible for leading people. Harmony is it create ho sakti hai na? Employee share responsibility for human resource management. Or customization jo hoti hai, organization ki apni, usse kya matlab hota hai? Viewing people inside and outside the organization as their customer. And if you consider them customer, then you have to believe it. Ki unless your customers are satisfied, you cannot survive in the market. मार्केटिंग में कहते हैं द कस्टमर इज द बॉस एंड इफ यू आर एबल टू सेटिस्फाई योर कस्टमर बेटर देन योर कंपेटेटर आर गोइंग यू आर द सर्वाइवल यू आर द विनर यू आर द सक्सेसफुल तो अगर आपने ये व्यू कर लिया कि वो जो लोग हैं जो आपके साथ इनसाइड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन भी काम कर रहे हैं और इवन योर कस्टमर आउटसाइड यू कंसिडर दैम द कस्टमर तो फिर आपको उतनी ही एफर्ट करनी पड़ेगी इन साइड भी अपनी ह्यूमन रिसोर्स के लिए जितनी आप अपने कस्टमर को सेटिस्फाई करने के लिए कर रहे हैं क्लियर सो इट्स मीन देन यू हैव टू इन्वॉल्व दैम फॉर इवन डिजाइनिंग ए प्रोडक्ट और सर्विस वो जो हमारा कॉन्सेप्ट हमने पढ़ा था मैनेजमेंट बाय ऑब्जेक्टिव या पार्टिसिपेटिव मैनेजमेंट कि आप उनको भी इंपॉर्टेंस देते हैं उनको इन्वॉल्व करते हैं इवन अपनी वन यू डिजाइनिंग योर प्रोडक्ट और सर्विसेज Achieving sustainable competitive advantage through employees. Compet this is the edge. This is the key. How can we do that? If you have employees who have the competency, like they have, the, they are valuable for you. They are organized. They are rare. Rare in which sense? 
ان کی کوئی فزیک ایسی نہیں ہے کہ دوسری جگہ پہ نہیں ملتے ان کی کوئی شکل ایسی نہیں ہے کہ اس وہ بڑے اس میں باقی جگہوں پہ ایسے لوگ نہیں ہوتے نہیں ان دیئر کمپٹینسی ان دیئر ابیلٹیز ان دیئر نالج بیس اور جس کی کاپی کرنا مشکل ہو تو اس طرح کے اگر ہیومن ریسورسز آپ کے پاس ہیں اف یو آر ایبل ٹو مینٹین سچ ٹائپ آف پیپل ہو ایز دا کریکٹرسٹک لائک دے آر ویلو ایبل دے آر ریئر دے آر آرگنائز اینڈ دے آر ڈیفیکلٹ ٹو کاپی یو گاٹ اٹ یو کین ہیو دا کمپیٹیٹو ایڈوانٹیج ان دا مارکیٹ ناؤ یو ول ڈلیور بیٹر دین ادر پیپل کین ڈو اینڈ اٹ ول بی ڈیفیکلٹ فار دیم ٹو کاپی یو ناؤ سو دس از ہاؤ یو کین اچیو کمپیٹیٹو ایڈوانٹیج تھرو یور امپلائیز اینڈ دیٹ از وائی وی آلویز سے اٹ از دا موسٹ امپارٹنٹ تھنگ وین وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا مینیجنگ دا پیپل اینڈ اگین ریمبر اٹ از ناٹ سمپل دا پیپل دے آر دا ویلو ایبل پیپل دے آر دی ریئر پیپل دے آر دا اسکل پیپل دے دا لرنڈ پیپل دا ایڈوکیٹڈ پیپل آر پیپل ہو ڈلیور دیر از اے نیو کانسیپٹ دے ٹاک اباؤٹ ٹو ڈیز ان ٹو ڈیز آرگنائزیشن ہائی پرفارمنس ورک سسٹم اگین ڈونٹ وری اباؤٹ دیز نیو تھنگس بیکاز دے آر جسٹ ٹو گیو یو ٹو بریف یو اور ٹو کائنڈ آف میک یو کنوینس دیٹ یس دس ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ از امپارٹنٹ واٹ از دس ہائی پرفارمنس ورک سسٹم اسپیسیفک کمبینیشن آف ہیومن ریسورس پریکٹسز ورک اسٹرکچر اینڈ پروسیس دیٹ میکسیمائز امپلائیز نالج اسکل کمٹمنٹ اینڈ فلیکسیبلٹی اس سے کیا ہوگا ابھی جو پریویس سلائڈ آپ نے دیکھی کہ کس طرح آپ اپلائی سے کمپیٹیٹو ایڈوانٹیج لے سکتے ہیں اگر یہ ساری کمبینیشن آپ کر لیں تو ڈونٹ یو تھنک یو ہیو دا یونیک سیٹ اپ یو ہیو دا ریئر ٹائپ آف سسٹم وچ ول بی ڈیفیکلٹ ٹو کاپی اینڈ سسٹم کمپوز آف مینی انٹر ریلیٹڈ پارٹس دیٹ کمپلیمنٹ ون اینڈ ادر ٹو ریچ دا گول آف این آرگنائزیشن ایون اف اٹ از اے لارج آر اسمال آرگنائزیشن ہاؤ کین وی ڈیولپ ہائی پرفارمنس ورک سسٹم جس کو ہم ایچ پی ڈبلیو ایس پی کہتے ہیں کئی جگہوں پہ آپ اپنی بک کے اندر دیکھیں گے اس کی ایبریویشن دس از دا ماڈل یو ہیو ٹو لنک ڈفرینٹ اسٹریٹجیز ود دا سسٹم ڈیزائن وچ انکلوڈیڈ دا ورک فلو سسٹم دا ہیومن ریسورس پریکٹسز دا ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ پریکٹسز ویری امپارٹنٹ بیکاز دا ورک فلو اینڈ ٹیکنالوجیز کین بی ڈپلیکیٹڈ اور ایپلیکیٹڈ اگ ایزی Uh, they can be arranged for the other people too. But they, again, we will be focusing on this HR practices here. And keeping in view your principles of high improvement, of high involvement, and then when you process will implement that process, the outcomes will be beneficial for organization, not only for organization, but of course for the employees. Let's try to understand the principles of high performing work system. The principles of the HPWSP usko kehte hain jaise maine aapse kaha. There are four parameters here. Knowledge development, shared information, performance reward linkages and social equality. So these are the principles through which you can create the good team, the good system. where you will be performing things. Most of these things we have already discussed in our sessions. But still, shared information. We have to facilitate each other. Right time information, quick speed. Knowledge development, same time, doing and learning. Training and development ka jo continue process is saath saath. Or, if it is linked with the reward, پے فار پرفارمنس کا کانسیپٹ یاد ہوگا آپ کو جو ہم نے ڈسکس کیا تھا دا مور یو ول ڈو دا بیٹر یو ول گیٹ دا بیٹر یو ول ڈو دا مور یو ول گیٹ پلس سوشل اکویلٹیز اف ون پرسن از ہیئر سیکنڈ از ہیئر ان دیئر ہر ایکی اسٹل دیئر بوتھ آر امپارٹنٹ فار دی آرگنائزیشن بوتھ شوڈ ہیو اے میوچل ریسپیکٹ دیٹ کین میک اے گڈ ہارمونک سسٹمس which can facilitate the performance in the right direction because everybody will be 
owning it, the organization. They will be that the concept of organization citizenship will be there. And what that citizenship, organization citizenship concept say? Ki everybody will deliver more than what he or she is supposed to do. Because when you are owning it, you do not just count hours or time or days, you just focus on delivery and delivery of something special, more and more and that will create a good competitive advantage for you, clear? Aage chalte. Complementary human resources, policies and practices which can make your, this phenomena more important and more practical, they are training and development, staffing, compensation. Start with the staffing, give proper training and development, link with the reward system, performance with the reward and you can have it. Pick the right person, what was staffing? Starting with the planning, recruitment and placement, if you have right person for the right job, not only a person, but right person for the right job, having capabilities, abilities knowledge and skill and proper motivations and if you provide them, facilitate them with the training and development because when we are discussing the human resource development HRD concept, we discuss there that the outcome of HRD, proper HRD is the training and development of the employees, career development of the employees and organization development as a whole. So this training and development will augment it, with all, augment the basic delivery of your employees. And now the stage is set. So if it is properly linked with the reward, so you can have the delivery. You should expect more than you are thinking that you will be getting from your employees. But then you have to make, you have to ensure that you have to create fit. All those things, they should fit each other. HR strategy jo hai, wo business strategy se match karti hai. What you are training and development ka plan, plan kar rahe hai, they should be matching with the need of the employees. What the reward compensation system you are banare, they should also match with the expectation or desire of the workforce. What your technologies change lena cha, lana chate, make sure okay, you should prepare your workforce, you should prepare your employees to have a fit. Usse kya hoga? And we are talking about both fits, internal and external fits, with all those forces affecting on you. Internal fit, the situation in which all the internal elements of the work system complement and reinforce one another. Competition should be there, pressure should be there, but for the main keeping in view, the main object in your mind, reinforce or complement vikareo, then system will work. Similarly, external fit, the situation in which the work system supports the organizational goal and strategies, the broader, the big picture, keeping in view the macro factors, the economy, the rule regulations, the policies, the changes, the technology changes. So then the system will work and you will be able to survive, not only survive, but it, you should be the leader in the market, in whatever field you are working. Benefit of this high performance work system, kya honge? Jaise aap se kaha tha ki iska employees ko bhi fayda hai, or organization ko bhi fayda hai. Employees ko kya fayda hai? They can have more involvement in the organization, they will own it experience growth and satisfaction and become more valuable as contributors. Because when they are satisfied, they are feeling pride, they have the pride of delivering something and they are feeling proud of that. So, unki bhi growth ho hai, unki development ho hai, satisfaction bhi ho hai and they will become more valuable and they will contribute more for the organization. What about organization? Of course, 
the high productivity will be the outcome quality you will be seen as a quality leader because you have the unique now setup system of high performance flexibility and the most important customer satisfaction aur jaise maine wo marketing ka concept aapko bataya if your customers are satisfied or if you are able to satisfy your customer better than your competitors are doing you are the successful you are the leader you are the star in the market you will grow you will prosper you see this whole high performance work system which we are talking where they are integrating all those different components of the organization including the most important one the human resource man human resources so the outcome will be benefits for employee benefit for the organization and of course ultimately it is beneficial for the society now let's see what are the expectation for hr professionals in the organization they should understand the problem sign to them they stay competent and how can do that they do that through study and research aur ye har ek ko hona chahiye it is not only the hr department wo professional ki baat karte hain koi bhi profession mein aap hain don't think as you are at the top because they say that when someone feel they have achieved their goals and they are at the top that is the first day of their decline because now they don't have the thrust they don't have the stress they don't have the energy to again continue their efforts aur aap agar history mein dekhe business ki history dekhe duniya mein dekhe wo kaume wo organization wo department wo log jinhone ye aaram se baith gaye ki yes now we have achieved a tv position we have achieved a competency ab aaram se baithenge to wo hi din unka zindagi ka pehla din tha decline mein aur aasta aasta wo khatam ho gaye market se wo गायब हो गए और उनकी जगह दूसरे लोगों ने जिन्होंने एफर्ट्स करते रहे अपने नॉलेज को अपने स्किल्स को अपडेट करते रहे दे स्टेड इन द मार्केट एंड दे वर द लीडर इन द मार्केट वही चीज़ आपको यहाँ बता रहे हैं कि दे शुड स्टे कंपिटेंट हाउ कैन दे डू दैट प्रोफेशनल कंपिटेंट की बात करें वो अपनी स्टडी को और रिसर्च को कंटिन्यू रखें ताकि जो नई नई चीज़ें आ रही हैं उनके फील्ड में जो नई नई थ्यूरीज और कंसेप्ट डिवेल्प हो रहे हैं दे शुड गेट दोज कंसेप्ट and use them for their organization so their organization should be staying in the leading or they should be performing the leading role maintain high standards of personal honesty and integrity no doubt in it very important for each profession or for each person for that sake we should maintain the high standard for personal honesty and integrity so that people should believe in us people should come to you when they feel you have the high standard of personal honesty and integrity aur hum being muslim hum us prophet ko manne wale hain jisko sadak aur amin kaha gaya aur unke dushman bhi unke paas aate the and that was the reason personal honesty and integrity consider the personal interest welfare and dignity of all employees affected by recommendation and action whatever action whatever recommendation you will make remember it is not only going to affect you but of course all employees were working in the organization because you are dealing with the human resource department ensure organization maintain high regard for public interest and personal interest and dignity of the employees and this is very important again wo jo equalities humne baat ki it doesn't matter at which level you are but they are all human being aur sab ki respect sab ki integrity ka khayal bhi karna zaruri hai isi wajah se unka morale high rahega isi wajah se then they will start owning otherwise then different story what are the current challenges regarding to human resource management ek challenges to humne shuru mein padhe the first lecture mein aur aaj bhi jo aaj ke lecture maine shuru kiya aapke sath share kiya that is related to one organization's ability to attract develop motivate and retain the talented people but what about the broader spectrum what are the challenge challenges aajkal kya changes aa rahi hain 
ہم نے کافی دفعہ یہ ڈسکس کیا کہ ناؤ اٹ از دا تھیم وچ میٹر اسی لیے وہ لیڈرشپ کا کانسیپٹ بھی ہم نے ڈسکس کیا کہ وی ڈونٹ کال اینی وور دا پیپل ایز مینیجر وی کال دم دا تھیم لیڈر اور آج کل ایک جو ہیومن ریسورس کے حوالے سے جو چیلنج آ رہا ہے یا پیپل شوڈ بی ریڈی آرگنائزیشن شوڈ بی ریڈی ٹو ریسپانس دوز چیلنجز نمبر ون مینیجنگ دا ٹیم اوکے اینڈ ادر ون دا بگ ون اگین مینیجنگ دا ڈائیورسٹی اینڈ یو نو دیٹ وی ہیو ڈسکس دیز تھنگ سو مینی ٹائم ڈائیورسٹی از امپارٹنٹ اٹ از ان وے گڈ دا بینیفٹس آر مور دین دا کاسٹ بٹ اسٹل مینیجنگ ڈائیورسٹی از ویری امپارٹنٹ اینڈ چیلنج فار یور ایچ آر ڈپارٹمنٹ آر یور آرگنائزیشن مینیجنگ گلوبلائزیشن پریویس لیکچر واز اباؤٹ انٹرنیشنل بزنس آر گلوبل بزنس سی دا ورلڈ از بیکمنگ اے گلوبل ولیج ویری کامن باؤنڈریز آر ناؤ میننگ لیس یو کین ہیو آرگنائزیشن ڈفرنٹ فارمس فرام اے ہنڈریڈ working with you in your country. You can have people from different culture, different religions, different country coming and working with you in your organization. So you have different bases of the diversity. So managing the diversity and globalization is also becoming a challenge. So we have to be responsive. We have to respond to these issues, these challenges. But there is another one, managing the change. As the technology change, as the system change, as the competitive pressures are increasing, organizations are changing quickly. Wo jo kabhi decades ke andar change hoti thi, ab saalon ki baat aagi hai. Re-engineering, restructuring due to competitive pressure, due to change. So, if we have to identify major challenges of today's HR management, Our human resource management, these are the four things. Managing the teams, managing diversity, managing globalization, managing the change. Of course, we can have other different other things like managing your economic resources, managing the technology and so many things. But now they are the more common. This is the big one coming in a big way. So this should be our concern now as a human resource professional, how to handle these challenges till the time that there are new challenges for you in the market. Let's talk a little bit about the ethics, the values, the norms. Remember these things vary from culture to culture, religion to religion, because one thing can be, one thing can be ethical for you, it might not be ethical for another person. The thing which is ethical for them, it might not be ethical for us. But let's see in a broader spectrum, basic ethical concern about the problems related to human resource management. Sabse bada jo ethical issue nazar aata hai, human resource ke hawale se, that is the favoritism. Using favoritism rather than ability or job performance for managerial decision regarding employment, promotion, pay, discipline, big way the ethical issues. And if you don't discriminate on this issue, you can have very good harmonic environment in your organization. Or agar, unfortunately, ye cheezen kisi organization mein hoti hain, they can have always the stress, the chaos, and the problems in their organization. So remember, as a HR professional, we, we have to avoid any favoritism when we are going for the selection of new employment, when we are talking about the promotions, when we are talking about the pay or it is a matter of discipline. So, we have to show strong ethical behavior show karna hai if you, we really want to survive in this competitive world. Because otherwise, it is a short term thing. You might have some progress, some achievement, but it will be for short time. Or long run pay, you will be the loser. Then, human resource, professional role in workplace ethics. Isko bhi dekh lete hain. Teen kisam ke roles hain. 
मॉनिटरिंग का रोल है इन्वेस्टिगेटर का रोल है एंड स्ट्रोक पर्सन का रोल है मॉनिटर यू दे इंश्योर ऑल इंडिविजुअल्स आर ट्रीटेड फेयरली एंड एथिकली जो अभी बात की थी पहले इन्वेस्टिगेटर एच आर प्रोफेशनल इन्वेस्टिगेट कंप्लेंट्स दे रंग ऑन एथिकल इशूज एंड अगेन दे आर फेयर एंड दोज जो इन्वेस्टिगेशन होती हैं इफ दे आर बाइस देन अगेन द प्रॉब्लम एंड दे आर ऑल्सो द स्पोक पर्सन दे आर डिफेंडिंग देयर कंपनीज एक्शन वन कन्फ्रंटेड बाई रेगुलेटरी एजेंसीज मीडिया और एनी बॉडी आउट फ्राम आउटसाइड वट अबाउट कोर्ट ऑफ एथिक्स फॉर एच आर प्रोफेशनल ये तो जनरली बात की लेकिन एक एक ब्रॉडर जिसे कोर्ट ऑफ एथिक्स कहते हैं उसको भी देख लेना चाहिए इट विल हेल्प यू मेनटेन द हाइस्ट स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ प्रोफेशनल एंड पर्सनल कंडक्ट इनकरेज एम्प्लॉयर्स टू मेक फेयर एंड इक्विटेबल ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ ऑल एम्प्लॉयज ए प्राइमरी कंसर्न शुड बी देयर मेनटेन लॉयल्टी टू एम्प्लॉयर्स एंड परसू कंपनीज ऑब्जेक्टिव इन वेज कंसिस्टेंट विद द पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट मेक श्योर दैट यू आर फेथफुल टू योर एम्प्लॉयर बट अगेन विद द फ्रेम फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ द ब्रॉडर लॉ द ब्रॉडर स्पेक्ट्रम जिसमें पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट जरूरी है ये नहीं है कि आपका एम्प्लॉयर अगर आपको गलत बात कहता है तो यू शुड एक्सेप्ट इट अप होल्ड आर लॉज एंड रेगुलेशन रिलेटिंग टू एम्प्लॉज एक्टिविटीज दैट इज योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी यू शुड मेक श्योर के योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज इम्प्लीमेंटिंग दोज लॉज दो रेगुलेशन रिलेटेड टू योर एम्प्लॉय एम्प्लॉयर एक्टिविटीज बिकॉज दे आर लुकिंग एट यू यू आर द इम्प्लीमेंटर सिमिलरली मेनटेन द कॉन्फिडेंशलिटी ऑफ प्रिविलेज इंफॉर्मेशन बिकॉज यू माइट हैव लॉट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन विद यू तो कॉन्फिडेंटी कॉन्फिडेलिटी जो होती है उसको मेनटेन करना चाहिए बिकॉज अदरवाइज फिर तो फिर वो मकसद फोट हो गया ना जो ओनरशिप का ये ओनिंग का कॉन्सेप्ट है एंड वट अबाउट द मैनेजमेंट कोड ऑफ एथिक्स फॉर ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट प्रोफेशनल की बात के ऊपर मैनेजमेंट जो ह्यूमन रिसोर्स की होती है उनके लिए भी ये कोड ऑफ एथिक्स है वो क्या है प्रैक्टिशन प्रैक्टिशनर मस्ट रिगार्ड द ऑब्लिगेशन टू इम्प्लीमेंट पब्लिक ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड प्रोटेक्ट द पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट एज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट देन ब्लाइंड लॉयल्टी टू एज एम्प्लॉयर प्रेफरेंसेज ये अभी थोड़ी देर पहले भी मैंने आपसे बात की थी कि ठीक है यू शुड बी लॉयल टू योर एम्प्लॉयर बट कीपिंग इन व्यू द पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट गलत काम नजायज फेवर इवन इफ योर एम्प्लॉयर इज सेंग सो कोड ऑफ एथिक्स से नो यू शुड रिगार्ड द ऑब्लिगेशन टू इम्प्लीमेंट पब्लिक ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड प्रोटेक्ट द पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट एज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट दिस इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर यू देन ब्लाइंड लॉयल्टी टू एन एम्प्लॉयर प्रेफरेंसेज ठीक है जी तो दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट एथिक्स इन इफ दिस इज द केस इफ एवरीबडी नो इट वाई आर नॉट द बेस्ट एच आर प्रैक्टिस यूज मोर ऑफ्टन जब सबको मालूम है कि इतना इंपॉर्टेंट है तो क्यों फिर सारे जो ह्यूमन रिसोर्स एक्टिविटीज होती हैं ह्यूमन रिसोर्स प्रैक्टिस होती हैं इसको क्यों नहीं यूज़ किया जाता ऑर्गनाइजेशन के अंदर वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम दैन कुछ रीजन हो सकते हैं रेजिस्टेंस चेंज दैट कैन बी वन रीजन एम्प्लॉयर यू ऑर्गनाइजेशन दे आर फीलिंग थ्रेट इन दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू फॉलो दीज प्रैक्टिस और ये नेचुरल भी हो सकता है तो हाउ कैन वी ओवरकम टीच दैम कन्विंस दैम कि दिस इज द बेनिफिशियल इग्नोरस भी हो सकती है जो डिसीजन मेकर हैं उनको इसका अंदाजा ही नहीं है इसके फायदे का पता ही नहीं है या पोलिटिकल कंसल्टेशन भी हो सकती है पॉलिटिक्स जो होती है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के अंदर दैट इज द रीजन दीज आर द थ्री बेसिक रीजन ड्यू टू विच द नॉर्मल और कॉमन ह्यूमन रिसोर्स प्रैक्टिस दे आर नॉट बींग यूज इन दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन especially in our country too how can you gain support for best hr practices ab kaise aap usko convince karenge first of all link the use of hr practices to the solution of real business problem and to achieve tangible business goals you have to link them whatever practices you are thinking is good are good for your organizations 
link them with the real business problem so that they should understand the importance. Demonstrate how the benefits outweigh the cost of using best HR practices. Give the figure. Okay, they can. अगर आप समझते हैं कि इस तरह की एच आर एम प्रैक्टिस से आपका खर्चा हो रहा है ट्रेनिंग पे डेवलपमेंट पे बट सी द आउटकम सी द रिजल्ट बट द लास्ट वन इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट स्पीक द लैंग्वेज ऑफ बिजनेस पीपल अब हम जब प्रोफेशनल लोग क्या करते हैं जब कंपेयर करते हैं तो हम को रिलेशन रेग्रेशन एनालिसिस और कॉफिशेंट ऑफ को रिलेशन वगैरह दिखाते हैं दे डोंट केयर अबाउट दीज थिंग टाक विद दम इन मनी फॉर्म रुपया डॉलर की शक्ल में उनको बताएं इतना फायदा है इतना नुकसान है आपको एंड टाक अबाउट दी अपॉर्चुनिटी का क्योंकि वो स्टेटिस्टिकल फिगर जो आप ग्राफ बताते हैं तो शायद वो जो पीपल हुआ डिसीजन मेकर दे आर नॉट कंसर्न अबाउट दीज थिंग दे फॉर द बिजनेस पीपल मोस्टली द बॉटम लाइन इज वट इज द रिटर्न कि मुझे क्या मिलेगा इसमें से तो फिर उसको ट्रांसलेट करो उस डॉलर की शक्ल में रुपये की शक्ल में पैसे की शक्ल में ताकि आप अपनी वो ह्यूमन रिसोर्स प्रैक्टिसेस को इंप्लीमेंट कर सकें अपनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के अंदर लेट्स स्टार्ट क्विकली अबाउट द फ्यूचर ट्रेंड्स ह्यूमन रिसोर्स ट्रेंड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एंड वी आर सींग इट नाउ इवन द वर्क प्लेस फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी कोलेबरेटिव वर्क इन ए वर्चुअल ऑफिस नाउ नाउ पीपल डोंट नीड टू सिट टूगेदर यू कैन हैव वर्चुअल कॉन्सेप्ट वन पर्सन सिटिंग हेयर अदर सिटिंग इन अदर कंट्री थर्ड सिटिंग इन जापान Four sitting in state, and still you will be working together. Global businesses, business require a global workforce now. The people have to expand. The business has to expand. They have to go out of their boundaries. Work and society, working is to live, not living to work. Concept is changing. Workforce development, constant learning is a just-in-time form format. लर्निंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड हाई स्किल यूटिलाइजेशन हर दिन नेक्स्ट टाइम भी आपको कोई जरूरत पड़ सकती है यू कैन हैव द जस्ट इन टाइम लर्निंग सिस्टम और आजकल की नई टेक्नोलॉजी ने इसको पॉसिबल किया सो दैट इज ए न्यू ट्रेंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ जॉब इफ दे आर बिकमिंग बिग एंड बिग द ब्रॉडर स्ट्रेटेजिक रोल ऑफ एच आर यू नॉट ओनली फेसिलिटेट एनी मोर यू नॉट ओनली द स्पोर्ट पर और फंक्शन लेवल थिंग नाउ You are becoming leaders. You are not just the partners because now you will be giving the direction. And people has realized those things that human resources are the more important things. The value of predicting, having a vision, and a way to achieve is becoming the key. So that is what I thought I should discuss with you about in the last lecture about this human resource management. Let's quickly summarize it. The key is. efficiency effectiveness and competitiveness that is the key a bottom line we can say how to achieve it if you are able to manage and retain the learning capable human resources who can deliver and that is the whole philosophy of this subject that this is very important the human resource management is important and if we understand this thing we should be able to have the effective efficient and competitive results whatever it is production service product or whatever but there for that we have to get different knowledges different philosophies different theories from different areas but just don't carry away for, for those things absorb them think it that is what it is saying think globally but act locally you have to see what environment you are working what is your local culture and then use all those things according to your own culture your own situation then you will be able to be successful otherwise you will be just wasting your time so for that purpose think globally and act locally and what is happening i always say this knowledge and experience are available but often ignored whatever we have discussed in during last 44 or 45 lectures i believe most of the people know already those things but i think we ignore them we don't take them so serious 
that they are important. And my message will be, don't ignore them. They are important. And yes, they are making difference. With this, I have to end my today's lecture. Not only today's lecture, but this whole session, because today was our last lecture. I thank you for your attention. That is, that is it for today. I have tried my level best to make this subject very simple, interesting for you. I hope I, it is, I was successful, but you are the better judge. And your result will reflect how successful I was. But then, I will you one hard work, hard work, and hard work. Iska koi namal badal nahi hai, and you are our future. Focus on your goals, work hard, believe on yourself, and sky will be the limit. With these thoughts, thank you very much. Allah Hafiz, and Assalamu Alaikum.